Hello guys, welcome to my channel Note Developer. In this video, we are going to see how we can create a customized dialog box as per our need. In this uh, particular layout, I have a linear layout which is basically the box of this uh, dialog. And in this, this means dialog button. I have the custom dialog box image which is this animation progress title text view, description text view, and then we have the two buttons: positive button and negative button. You can add more to this layout as per your need. These three classes we need to implement for this particular customized dialog box. So first, you need these interfaces for the particular click on clicks like a positive button click negative button click and display second so first we need the custom dialog parameters for that i'm gonna create the data class custom dialog parameters and these are the variables we need for this particular custom dialog box custom dialog box minimum height image resource what the image uh, we want to show then image resource width and height animation resource and animation repeat count how many times you want to show the animation progress view you want to show it or not data text so you need to provide this now we need to implement this custom dialog box method so in this i'm gonna first create a method which is to dialog box and inside this function we need three parameters first custom dialog box parameters and the second which is fragment manager third one is tag why we need tags to differentiate between the two dialogs now what we need to do this here is basically first create the object of the custom dialog box and in this custom dialog box this now first extend it basically with the dialog fragment and here that's how we create this as a fragment now this is our fragment now the custom dialog box object is here now let's custom dialog box parameters custom dialog box dot custom dialog box parameters so for that we need to create a variable here which is custom dialog box parameters of a custom dialog box parameter and uh, initialize it with null because we don't have anything here in the yes we need this and for which is custom dialog box parameters that's it and uh, now use the try catch here why because we want to show the fragment manager and the tag here as a tag and it is going to show a fragment or you can say the dialog basically and uh, if we get any error then just log it exception and log exception and the exception is basically a or you can see you have to string that's it so that's how we show the dialog box and now let's override our on create method like that yeah this is the on create method then we are going to on create dialog that so now we have this return method here we are going to return our dialog that's it we are not uh, returning this super dot on create we are going to return our dialog and uh, for that we need one more variable is dialog of type dialog right? let's just have private late in it where dialog with just dialog yeah that's it now i'm gonna place it this dialog and for that we need dialog equals to dialog that this we need to pass require activity you can pass activity directly here r dot style dot you can pass any then we have to request window feature here which is window dot feature note item yeah that's it then we are going to set the content view here by providing the i dot layout which i showed you in the start of the video basically and uh, now we have custom dialog box parameters here first check the check for the if it is null or not then we just need to use the those values of those custom dialog parameters so first check if custom dialog box parameter dot is to dismiss i is true or not now here this is basically okay let's use this as it so then we don't have it now this is it now if it dot is show dismiss dialog icon is we just need dialog dot dismiss dialog and this dismiss dialog is image view this image view you just need to set the visibility here you dot visible okay now in else case we just need to set the visibility as dialog dot dismiss dialog dot visibility equals to view dot com that's that's it now the second one is basically the image resource we need so for that it dot image resource if it is a equals to zero then we don't need the image resource actually so for that we just need dialog dot custom dialog box image dot visibility equals to con here in else case we need dialog dot custom dialog box image dot now if now if 
our call it dot main image resource width is not equals to zero and image height is not equals to zero you can change everything as per your need uh, it is just a showcase so like uh, how we can customize it as much as we want now here we can create a layout params here in this layout params we can use linear layout dot layout params and in this linear layout params we can pass type of this is this and then we can create linear layout dot layout and in this parents we need to pass our main view image view width and context and then the convert to db to pixel main image view height and context so okay, let's uh, get this dialog now so now we need to pass uh two things the image width and image height and uh, both we need to find out uh, in the pixel basically uh we are passing the dp here and we need to convert it into the pixel so for that we have the we should uh, create a function which is one convert dp to pixel and uh, here and, uh, use this convert dp to pixel for both uh, the height and the width after this it is just square context thing and close this now we have uh, our layout params and everything just you need to set those layout params to our dialog dot custom dialog box image dot layout params and then layout parent that's it and exactly just like that you need to set those offset all the variables which we have in this so i'm gonna now you can see i just created this and then this and then it flies all the layouts of the views basically according to the provided custom dialog cross parameters and now this is like uh, is cancelable dialog and on the click of those buttons we first dismiss this dialog and the call this function so let me show you how we use this first we need to create our custom dialog box parameter so for that simply now what you need to do is just call the custom dialog box and show dialog box custom dialog box parameter fragment manager then provide the dialog tag that's it for that second dialog let's click let's just need to have the sir also so i'm gonna use all the parameters same just with some slight change success field not error field okay dialog 2 this is dialog 2 show dialog 2 close dialog 2 and animation dot long loader this means dialog icon no don't show this this the tag is this now if i'm gonna show you how it looks like in this particular app so this is if i click on the show dialog one this is the how the dialog one is show in this we have this dismiss dialog icon open and uh, if i click on this show dialog then it dismisses and if i click on the show dialog two then you can see it also dismiss uh it don't have this but it is similar so show dialog two now here is basically this this is true here and this is false here is dialog dismissal on back press or tab so first i'm gonna show you the dialog one in which it is true so yes it is true in the dialog 2 it is not true so it is not that's why we can not dismiss the dialog by pressing back uh, click on back press now okay now how we can implement basically the positive button click and the negative button click that you need to just custom dialog box parameters dot positive button click then equals to object and then we uh, colon and which positive button click now you be get the option to implement members of this dialog button clicks dot positive button click interface so the here i'm gonna implement this function on click positive now how how we can perform some action inside this why it is going to come on this function click on the positive button this is the method in this this is the basically function in the interface positive button click which is basically called when our the positive button clicks somebody clicks on the dialog positive button and then it uh, inside this if you see i'm gonna it one dot on click positive so i'm calling this function on click for that function is implemented in the main activity so that's why it calls the main activity function and then there is the post which is shown uh, to the user exactly Exactly like this we can create a negative button click also now let me show you in the app so show dialog button now if i click on the show dialog button you can see the dialog is dismissed and the post is shown to the user that's it so that's it for this video click like button if you like this video if you have something to ask or give feedback then comment it below subscribe to the channel press the bell icon see you in the next one bye bye